We are in the new car going to Pumpkin Patch. See, I'm trying to follow the road. There's actually all the Oh, the pump is going to That one. Which one do you like? I like the other one back there. It's too windy for that one. Yeah, I think it's definitely safe for the last few. Because the other ones we had goats and stuff at. They had goats. Um, pet. I have my work pet. Well, we'll get you a big one, but let's go. Fifteen dollars. Beans. I got some so many times last year. It's probably gonna make your audio suck because of the wind. But it is what it is, right? That's a lamb. Oh no, that is a goat. Go pick yours out. Are you afraid to put your head down there? Yeah. Here, can you film? Hold on. Some of them, was this, she said, were squash. Well, I think the white ones are squash, right? Oh, they're the squash right there. This one right here looks like a Look at that gray one. So stick your head in. You want that one? Looks like a freaking mushroom. All right. Yeah. I'll put it up here and let her know. There's another one right here. This is the one you want? You want to get pictures here? Go ahead. It literally looks like from the pumpkin patch and I'm about to go rest. It is refreshing that we I had an outing that wasn't a complete disaster and didn't make me extremely ill. Although nothing goes without repercussions, but 
it definitely in comparison to last year I'm noticing small improvements last year at this time I was on something called the continuous famotidine which is pepsid infusion and basically it's the same concept as the CDI or the continuous Benadryl infusion but with pepsid so I had pepsid running 24 7 my doctors had implemented that February 2016 and it's like the longer I was on that particular continuous infusion the more I started reacting to it but we didn't it took a long time like 10 months to figure out that that was what was causing it but almost like all of 2016 like my weight would just plummet regardless of caloric intake like I was still receiving like 1400 calories a day and I'm still losing weight I dropped down to 81 pounds um I couldn't even oh my goodness this feeding tube pump of mine is gonna drive me bonkers it has done nothing but beat me yes sorry compose myself I got down to 81 pounds I was constantly like having dystonia every time I would stand up I would start getting, going into a reaction and just it was terrible and I thought I was gonna die honestly I really thought this past Christmas was gonna be my last Christmas and friends had said the same thing I looked like death I looked like death warmed over but thankfully we pinpointed that sugar so last year at the pumpkin patch I was still on that continuous pepsid infusion and so I was not doing nearly as well I wasn't able to walk at that pumpkin patch at all I started swelling all up eventually after only being there a few minutes lots of pain and I still have pain now but I haven't started swelling at all from it and overall it's just a more pleasant experience and so looking back even though I haven't made gains as far as intake like I'm not tolerating more food or water or feeds necessarily any better than I was but since stopping the continuous pepsin infusion I've got back up to 96 pounds versus 81 I've not I've not changed anything in my feed regimen to have that gain that gain was solely from stopping the continuous pepsin I'm able to walk now and I'm not 99% chair bound like I was when I was on the continuous pepsin I can walk around the house without my chair I can do short distances on for the most part on bad days of course I still have to use a chair and stuff but overall I'm very thankful it's refreshing to have an outing that's not a disaster because just for mental sanity purposes you need to get out every once in a while and not be so secluded and isolated I know you kind of have to stay secluded and isolated with the triggers for the most part but every now and again you just truly do have to try to live a little for whatever you can even if it's going to a pumpkin patch outside for 15 minutes and this year my family and I are praising God that the situation is better